Hi, I'm Scott Hanselman, and this is a Windows 8.1 What's New video. You should check out the other videos that I've got on YouTube. I've got ones on keyboard management, window management, uh, making the transition to Windows 8, but this video is talking specifically about new features in Windows 8.1. Now, I don't want to waste your time, so I don't want to do a complete comprehensive list of the 50 or so new features in Windows 8.1. Instead, I want to give you just the ones that are going to make you more effective and make you smile. First, I want to point out the Start menu here. You'll notice that we've got tiles of multiple sizes now. Now, I realize that Windows 8 has a touch screen optimization, but I'm going to use the mouse and keyboard because I think a lot of users have mice and keyboards and prefer to do their work that way. Notice that uh, the tiles are highlighting as I move my mouse around. I can also use my keyboard. I'm just going left, 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 down, down. So I can move around with my keyboard or with my mouse. I can right click. Notice that I right click and the entire start menu kind of fades away and goes into a selection mode. So I could take both the weather app. I'm just clicking on the weather app and the news app. And I'm coming down here and saying resize. This is new. I could make them tiny. There they are. I could make them medium or I could make them large. I could also select them both and then start dragging and you notice how I'm pulling them both. There's a little two there to indicate and the other ones are getting out of the way. So I can drag these, move them however I want. So you get a lot more flexibility in Windows 8.1 with how you lay out your start menu. Now in the lower corner here we've got a down arrow. That takes us to the applications that we have installed. And right next to the word apps here there's a pull down I could say show them by name and they're alphabetized and I'm just going to use the scroll wheel. I'm just using my scroll wheel and my mouse to move around. I can also just shove the mouse up against the right side and go left and right and find what I want. I can click here and say by date installed. You can see I just installed Camtasia which is the application I'm using to record this. I'm going to right click on Camtasia and then say pin to start. Now Camtasia just appeared here. Now this is a Windows desktop application. So that's the biggest icon that I can get. I can move that around anywhere that I want. I'm going to go back down to my all apps and I'm going to pick Lemmings. This application came out of the Windows Store. So this is a full screen application. I'm going to pin that one. Notice that that has a different icon. I can right click on Lemmings and this application supports medium or small. New Windows 8.1 applications will sometimes include large, which will give you that big square. And I can have these applications living side by side in my start menu. If I click on Camtasia, it will launch out to the desktop. And if I click on Lemmings, it will launch the full screen Lemmings application. Now within this application Lemmings, I can just switch back by going to the corner and clicking on desktop or to the lower corner and clicking on the start menu. Or I could drag it down and if I want I could just suspend it or I could force quit it by going down to the bottom holding until it flips over and then it forces the closed. You don't need to force close things but it's an, a good thing to know just in case. Now I'm going to right click on both Lemmings and Camtasia Studio and now unpin them from the start. Now I could keep going down to the bottom here and finding the things that I want and pinning them, but I can also just start typing. Like for example, I use the Windows calculator a lot, so I'm just going to start typing C A L C. I see both the desktop calculator and the full screen one. I'm going to right click on the desktop one. I can pin it to the start menu and then there it is. So any application that you use a lot, that's your favorite application. If you type in Word or for example I use Windows Live Writer to talk to my blog I can right click I can pin it to the start menu but I can also pin it to my taskbar and that'll make it appear on the desktop so there's the start I can right click on it and I can also pin it to the taskbar so now if I go back to my desktop it's pinned down here Another thing that people look for in Windows 8.1 they can't find is where is the full screen explorer? How can they look at their files? Well, you know that you can go to the desktop and you can click on the explorer window, but they want to see a full screen explorer. 
Well, the solution for that in Windows 8.1 is using SkyDrive. If I click on the SkyDrive application, in the corner here, I can pick SkyDrive, which is literally my drive in the sky. It's like Dropbox or Google Drive. But also, I can pull that down and say this PC. And then now, I can move around my PC, right-click on files, uh, delete them, paste them, and manage them. So this is a file manager within SkyDrive. SkyDrive blurs the line between your local system and your remote system. So be aware that you've got that available to you, especially if you have a Surface or a touchscreen. One of the other things that people don't realize about Windows 8.1 is that full screen applications can share with other applications. So for example, if I load up the News app, I can come down in the right corner here, and that brings up this Charms menu. I can go and affect the settings of the News application. But I can also say Share and share is super useful. So let's open up a article and I'm gonna say share. These applications in the list here are ones that have told Windows I can share. So I could go and send this to Twitter or I could send it as an email or I could add it to read later. There's a built-in read later application in Windows 8.1. I could also save it to delicious.com but I'll say Facebook Notice that the Facebook app then pops up and I can go and write a post directly here without leaving the news application. One of the other things that's surprising is I could say share and then I could pull this menu button down. See this right here? Because what is it I want to share? Well, the idea is that I usually want to share either the link to what I'm reading right now or I want to share the application. Here I could say I want to share a link to this app because I like this app or a screenshot. I can actually share a screenshot of this right here and then send that off perhaps to Dropbox or an email. So here is a screenshot of what I'm looking at sent in mail. So you've got lots of choices and any application can share something. So that's a really, really important tip to know. Let's go back to the Start menu. We'll go to Internet Explorer and I'm going to click on a link and I want you to notice what's happening in the address bar here. A little book just appeared that says switch to reading view. That's going to get rid of all these ads and all the articles and things that have nothing to do with the page that I'm currently looking at. And it switches the page into reading view, which is a really, really nice feature, especially if you have a tablet. This is like readability or read it later. This works on nearly any web page, and I encourage you to explore it, especially if you're using a Surface RT or a tablet. It's just a great experience, and then I can just right-click, turn that off, or close the window, close the window. Another great feature of Windows 8.1 that I enjoy is quiet mode. I'm going to click on Settings and Change PC Settings, and then I'm going to type in Quiet. And it says, Choose when quiet hours start and begin. So here, my Windows machine will not make any noise or notify me of things from midnight to 6 a.m., but I can receive phone calls. I could turn that off if I want. I also have full control of any notification from any application. And the last thing that I want to mention to you is try to set your start screen background to the wallpaper of your Windows background. So if I click Desktop, I've got this picture here. Let me change that background to something else. You notice how it's mountains. When I hit the start menu, that transition is a lot less jarring if you've got the same background. And you can do that by going to settings, hitting personalize, and in that lower right corner, that is always going to be the Windows desktop background. Oh, and one other thing. If you go to settings when you're on the start menu and click on tiles, you've got this choice on large screens, show more tiles. Here, notice that I have four rows of tiles, but if I turn on show more tiles, I get an extra row. Nice little feature if you don't mind smaller text. I do again encourage you to check out other YouTube videos that I've got and have a lot of fun exploring Windows 8.1.